Now it's time to jump into post-production. So the first step is you import your clip into Premiere Pro and you create a sequence using that clip. The second step is also pretty straightforward. You're basically creating a duplicate layer. From now on, we're gonna refer the bottom layer as the background layer and the top layer as the actor layer. What we're basically doing is setting it up so that we can mask and create some depth and distance from the background and the actor. The next step is you want to add a Lumetri color effect to the background layer. We can find the Lumetri color in the effects panel under the video effects folder under the color correction folder. Now drag and drop the Lumetri color effects onto your background layer. Now that you added the Lumetri color to the background layer, turn off or hide the actor layer. We're going to start by adjusting the shadows. And then we're going to move on to highlights. And then we're going to add in some contrast. Now we're going to pull down those whites so that we get that scene specifically to where we want it. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, wait a minute. <laughs> I lost the character here. What are we doing? So don't worry about the character for now. In this particular layer, as we talked about, this is the background layer. We're just focusing on how we want the background to look. Just worry about the background. The last step is, of course, adding that blue tint. Again, the, adding that blue tint is a choice. If you like how it looks as it is, leave it as it is. But if you like that blue tint, all you have to do is go into the temperature settings under the uh, Lumetri color effects and just add in a little blue tint. Move that sucker to the left and you get blue. Now we've adjusted the shadows, we have adjusted the highlights, contrast, turned down the whites. We also added the blue tint. And I kind of like how it is in case you wanted a scene that is darker than what I have right now. Um, you can make it darker by adjusting the exposure. Always make sure to save the exposure as your last resort. Try to see if you can achieve the color you want using highlights, shadows, and contrast. If that doesn't work, go to your whites and blacks. As a final resort, use your exposure. Typically, you want to go in that order because if you go with your exposure or your whites and blacks immediately, you're bound to get some noise in the footage. We can always talk about it in detail as to why that happens. But for now, keep that in mind. Shadows, highlights, contrast first, whites, blacks later, and then finally last resort will be your exposure. I've changed the exposure to minus 1.4 and you can see that it's actually a lot darker than it was before. Try to keep that number between zero and minus two. Try not to go below minus two because it gets really dark and you're gonna lose a lot of information. So try to keep it between zero and minus two. If you pay careful attention, you're gonna notice something else that as I made it darker, what happened was that blue tint kind of went away. So I'm gonna move that temperature value even more to the left, bringing it down to negative 90 to probably around negative 120. At 142, I think it looks good. I think the blue is blue enough for me to notice and like it's in that perfect little sweet spot and I'm gonna leave it as it is. I think it's safe to say that we're done with the background layer. Now we're gonna move on to the uh, actor layer. And we're gonna do the same thing as we did to the background layer. We're gonna drag and drop that Lumetri color effects, but this time onto the actor layer. Now again, we're gonna do something very similar that we did to the background layer, but instead of focusing on the background, this time when we're adjusting the shadow highlight temperature values, we're gonna be focusing on the actor. We're gonna be focusing on Ashley here. Again, you're really playing with these three things. You're really playing with highlight, shadows, and contrast to get the effects you want. Bring that temperature to the right. This is kind of getting to a place where I'm liking it. Um, as you can see, I'm getting that nice little highlight top left of her face. And I'm also getting some really nice shadows under her eyes and the right side of her face. It feels really natural. And again, you can see how just by setting a simple light gets all this going for you. Gives you a lot of information in terms of light and shadow that you can play with in post-production. So definitely plan your pre-production and your shots well. 
Um, I'm gonna save this guy and yeah, I think it's time to move on to masking.